Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. Here's a fun illusion you can do at your favorite restaurant. The next time they bring you a stale roll or you just want to bounce something on the floor that doesn't normally bounce, watch this little trick. I'm going to bounce this on the floor for you right now. I'll do it again. Now the secret to that is real simple. All you have to do to learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. Okay, welcome to this week's Root Tip of the Week. I'm here with a very dear friend of mine, Dr. Les Fang. Les and I have taught for years together at our root camps, and unfortunately he got so famous that I couldn't afford him after a while, and I had to let him go. But he is still one of my best friends in the whole world, and he's got the most information about how to handle emergencies in a dental office, the most practical, down-to-earth approach of anyone I've ever met. And since we're both here in Las Vegas and he's giving a course, I thought I'd let Les tell you a little bit about what he does. Well, a lot of it came from the root camp, as you imagine. Uh, during those days, I was struggling with trying to figure out how best to teach the dental professional to manage medical emergencies in the dental office. Some of the things that I have seen just didn't make sense. For instance, a lot of the algorithms and management of uh, emergencies uh, take for granted that the dentist would be able to start an IV. And I know from our surveys... Most dentists can't even spell IV. Now, you know that's not true. We can't start an IV. No well, chance again, 89% of them cannot, and the other 11% of them li are lying. That's true. So, under those circumstances, all of the intravenous drugs that are in an emergency kit totally doesn't make sense to me. But they look so impressive. I got them in the box here and I reorder them every year and I really feel like I'm doing a great job having them there. Is, is that not right? That is not right. Oh. Largely because of the fact that if you have it in your armamentarium, they're going to wind up raising medical legal question as to why it is that when a patient has a catastrophic problem with hypotension, that you did not use intravenous dopamine, which is in your kit. Mm. Now, if you say at that particular time, I don't know what dopamine is, that isn't going to impress I anybody. thought you were just assault insulting me there with the dope thing, but uh, yeah, that's true. Well, the dope thing is not necessarily an insult. So what do we do? What do we do? Do we just need a few s small number of drugs or what? I think that there's no question whatsoever that greater than 95% of the medical emergencies that are seen in the dental office can be handled very simply with six drugs. And it's based upon that particular premise that we started building a drug kit around that particular concept. And there are two things in the drug kit. One is to make sure that all of the dental professional know how to use those six drugs. And the second thing that we built in since medical emergency doesn't occur on a daily basis in a dental office, is to make sure that we would be able to guide them through an algorithm as to how best to manage the different medical emergency. So the ultimate cheat sheet, uh, which guides people through medical emergency, is also included in this kit. I think we should put right on the screen, right across the bottom, how they can order that Kit. It's not for me. I'm not selling it, but I think you should get that email address and give Les a call. And uh, any other real quick helpful hints you want to give them before we uh, close this up? I think that uh, in the 20 years that you and I have been associated with, with each other, uh, both starting at the age of 17, 10, 17, 18, yeah, that's true, yes. Um, I have seen just tremendous amount of improvement in the medical emergency preparedness in the dental office. And I think that as the procedures become more complicated and as the baby boomers age and come in with their diverse medical issues, we're going to wind up needing to know more and more about how best 
to handle medical emergencies in the dental office. It's called the Medical Emergency Cheat Sheet, is that right? It's called the Medical Emergency Cheat Sheet. Okay. You're going to be crazy if you don't order one of these. Go, I'm going to give you the information one more time. Call up right now and get it. And thanks for looking. Les, it's great to see you as always. Well, again, as Anytime always, you're back in Vegas, my. don't ever gamble with this guy, by the way. He always <laughs> wins. So, hey, I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you, Kit. Well, that's it for another Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers inviting you to join me at our very next Root Camp. So long for now.